Welcome back, everybody. We're here with our next match. And that's going to be So Koopy versus Team Durambo. Now, Pina, who do you got to say is going to win this upcoming match? Well, once again, we have a ban of Violet, putting her ban rated almost 75% now, which makes sense. You know, she's a pretty pretty fantastic character um so on the side of durambo we got jackie and levka which is a new combo that we haven't seen i think jackie is pretty much seen as she, she has her abilities but it's really it's hard to use it effectively um so she seems like the last pick where i'll on the other side you for so Koopy, we've got justin and tor seeing that that's i mean that's an interesting pick i i, I don't see that a synergy happening on either side of these but individually all four of these characters have, have something that can work for them um, I, 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 you know, for an initial pr uh, prediction, I would have to go with Sokupi only because they have more usable abilities. But we've seen Durambo come out with some really impressive stuff, so I, I, I wouldn't say I'd be able to pick. I, I think I want to agree on that one too. Sokupi, they, I, they were the ones that made it up into the finals against Team JP and Darth, the original iteration uh. of JD. And they came second, but they were very close. They brought it to very close matches, and they actually almost made a comeback in one of the rounds, too. It was pretty cool to see. So that's going to be my pick as well. And now we'll see how abilities are going to affect these games, just as I said. But the Cheetah was, is going to be Karambo, by the way. Yes, we do have a Karambo with a quick name change after something happened in chat, I'm pretty sure. I think it was someone in chat that called Karambo a literal cheetah, and, and now everyone's like, a cheetah joined our game, we gotta ban him. Who is this random guy? It is just a little bit of fun from these players. They are all friends outside of the game, so it is great to see these players getting along and just having some friendly competition. So if Dart and Karambo, if Karambo is gonna have a name change, does that mean their team name is gonna change as well? It's a good question. I don't think we can call him Durambo anymore, but Dart Cheetah is also a little bit rough, I'll be honest. So da I think we're have to... da Cheetah. Da Cheetah? Da Cheetah? Da Cheetah, that's da it right Cheetah. there. Unfortunately for da Cheetah, they are getting zoned off the point a little bit here, but they're able to push towards on the end. Koops is still alive on point, just doing all the work. Good for him. The Cheetah? Da <laughs> no, we're not calling you that. It's da Cheetah now. <laughs> no, thanks. So in this final clone here, you see uh, Koops and Lucky pushing up. Lucky's going to push up a little bit farther. It looks like he's going for the middle health pack, but he does miss it and is not able to resync. I think that takes Lucky's three out of the out of the game. Dart resyncs with his clone right at their last health pack. He mixes a B hop, it looks like, and he's not going to be able to make it to point, and that is going to cost him the round. Unfortunate. Ooh, the Cheetah, he was just a little bit too focused on that last clone on the tire platform. He had to have made his push and try to take the clones off of the point. And that's some of the, the cost that comes into these games. There's so much to keep track of and what's going on in the game that sometimes you kind of just forget that the most important thing is to be on top of the point. And the Cheetah realizes that a little bit too late. He does, as does Dart. I think I think tripping up on he was looks like he was going off the ramp trying to get one of those super gems, and unfortunately he was unable to do that. It's the inconsistency the inconsistency of those B hops is what makes it such a skill gap game. I think we see, you know, people people talk about whether or not you should see B hopping in a game like this, but to show that skill cap, to show that there really is an ability of being better than your other teammate, it, it makes it so that this game really does have a higher skill ceiling than and, others. And I couldn't agree more. I believe if, if it wasn't for that B-Hop mechanic, the amount of plays and strategies that will come into this game is just little to none. It'd basically be a game of, all right, I'm going to run over there, make one play, and then I'm going to get on top of the point. But with that B-Hop mechanic, these players are able to just get to and from certain areas, reposition themselves coming from the flank, or decide if they want to not go in from the flank. But speaking of flank here, it looks like the team Durambo, the Cheetah, didn't quite make that flank or that strategizing play to get themselves on top of the point just yet. And for this final clone, you'll see, looks like we've got a little bit more of aggression here from So Lucky. He's playing around that middle health pack. I can't tell if it's still there. It is still there, and he is able to resync, but he gets knocked down quite a bit more. He's trying to get back onto the top of the point. It looks like we've got some absolute craziness. I got to turn off ghosts, and that is a point for So Koopy. I, I, 
I think that was just a good old fashioned take one of each player down here and there. So Lucky made a very quick play trying to get himself over to center point. And that's one of Solucky's trademark plays when it comes to this 2v2 map. He always likes to rush towards that center health pack and then play around it and try to take down as much as he can. And he was able to take down quite a lot, put a huge amount of pressure in. And that allowed Sokupi that huge advantage coming in for that last point. Very well played on those B-Hops and, and just a lot of pushing there. I did miss a little bit as my game decided to uh, black out on me. But now I am back and we are ready to go. <laughs> Lucky gets a very nice shot on, on Cheetah there right at the end. It's interesting. I think we saw a little bit more aggression from players than we usually do. Koo's playing a little bit higher, uh, farther up on the left side. We'll see how that plays out in these next rounds. Now it looks like he's throwing, trying to throw a little bit of pre-fire down, trying to see if he can get some shots down on the threes. Cheetah, the Cheetah gets knocked down quite a bit and then finally does get taken out, as does Dart. Koo's been so lucky. Just taking absolutely amazing aim duels here. Looking for a 3-0 very quickly. Now, I gotta say, if there's anybody that can try to compete with the Cheetah or Karambo with speed, it's gotta be so lucky. Yeah, no, I think it is. And you see him rushing now as well. He is a even able to steal his own health pack there. Try and get that out. Lucky and Coops are now just playing games, trying to kill as many threes as possible. But so the Cheetah are staying back. They know what to do. Cheetah gets taken out quite a bit. Dart, but they don't aren't able to get taken out enough. Both threes alive on point, and all the blues, blue ones and twos on point. That is going to be very difficult for the Cheetah later in this game. Especially for Karambo here. Karambo, Cheetah, oh my gosh, I'm one or the other. The Cheetah, <laughs> he gets on top of the point with little to no HP. And just as I talked about it earlier, out of all the people that could have competed with speed, it's so lucky and that we saw the exact play happen. So lucky rushed towards that center health pack, stole the health pack away from the Cheetah, and Cheetah, all he had to do was just look at Solucky, get taken down, and he didn't get to uh, dictate the amount of plays that are going to happen in that round. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's it's crazy to see these players go for that. Now, now Lucky's going to go back a little bit. He's a, he's very low health. Um, so as long as he's able to stay alive here, I think he... Do they have that health pack back there? They do not have that health pack back there. So he's just going to try and stay alive for as long as possible. Trying to throw a little bit of pre-fire as that Justin. He is able to stay alive. He's not even going to try and get to point. He just wants to snipe, and he does. Very well played from So Lucky there. He knew Koops was going to stay on point. And he just kept shooting from the from the back. Very well played. And we haven't talked about a lot about the Coops at the moment. He's been playing very defensively and making sure to provide good support for his team with a pre-fire. That was pre-fire right there. Beautiful shot. Now Dart and Cheetah. I'm not seeing Cheetah's three, but Dart's three is hanging out. Oh, it looks like he was taken out as well. So that looks like all the red threes, all the red clones are going down here. And just a beautiful five clone, as our boy Amusi says, tea party on point. Tea Very party well played from Soku. Indeed. And that mainly came to the fact that the red team, they just got taken down a little bit too fast. They weren't able to play as much. And it, uh, with Cheetah getting taken down pretty quickly, it was up to up to dart to just finish off that game and it was a little bit too difficult especially with players like the coops and so lucky who are some of the best players in the game as well they really are so what is that next game we have as we move on let me looks like you yeah so we just had team dart and karambo Darambo versus team so Koopy. next we're gonna have darth and jay versus Darambo. so we're gonna see Darambo in again versus team jd JD versus Durambo, or the Cheetah, as they are known to be called now. <laughs> Confirmed name change for them. But guys, we'll be right back as we get the next match set up for you guys.